So one of the problems I always have is glue bottles. What to do with them and how to store them. Whenever I get something, they're always falling over and I never have them where I need them. So I think today, one of my first projects I'm gonna do on my step craft uh, CNC is to make a glue caddy. Here we go. So one of the first things you have to do when making something is to design it. When I design something, I prefer to use SketchUp, the version for dummies. So here we go. So for my glue, I have, we have brown, we have thick, we have medium, we have thin, we have a white, we have a spray from accelerant, we have a black, we have a can, the accelerant. Now honestly, designing this in Vetric, it would probably be easier and quicker to just rough something out, cut it with a bandsaw, and then just um, drill some holes in it. But I want this to be a little bit of a lesson on how to use Vetric and how to use the new CNC. I just got the machine and it's uh, pretty exciting. They, even the wrench they give you is a nice wrench. I mean, what more could you ask for? <laughs> All right, so let's try to cut this and we'll see what happens. So what I'm going to have it do now, I'm going to have it run again. It's only going to cut like not even a quarter of an inch into this. So when the bottles go through, they'll be sitting in a little recess in this. So let's see how that. trick I had learned um, by watching the Tools Today videos uh, Matt doing on um, on Instagram is to take care of these little tabs. I'd be driving myself nuts sanding them and all he does is he uses a bit like this. So with this bit it takes these little tabs and this little edge here, takes it right off, makes your life a lot easier. See the finish, takes those tabs right off. Nicely done. This is a scrap piece of MDF. These are old screw holes. It's just a glue caddy. You know what I'm saying? Let's see if this does what it's supposed to do. Matches our diagram. We're going to use this side. So, I need to make sides for this, and of course I could just cut something real easy, but to do this video is just to, to learn a little bit. I want to learn the proper way to use the CNC, I want to learn the proper way of using the Vectric software. I hate Microsoft, I'll never get a sponsorship with them. I'm an Apple guy, but if you have CNCs, they force you into using this crap. All right. So let's try cutting those out. So 
So this stuff, like I said, this was all done with scrap wood. These sides are a little bit shorter than they should be, but I really don't care because it's just um, it's just a glue caddy. It was just to use the CNC. So this little piece we're going to use as a spacer just to get a little bit of height. What I like to do when gluing MDF, put some thin on it, kind of seals the end of it. Otherwise, all your glue is just going to keep going right in it, and it will never, ever, 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 ever stick. I just see that soak right in there. Put that there. Spray some accelerator on that. I was thinking, what if I went with the brown in here? I always lose these tops, but luckily our friends at Starbond sent us extra tops. Thank you. That's right, I'm gonna sand that and make it all cool. Yeah. Here's my glue caddy out of scrap wood. Love it, hate it. Blue tips. I forgot I had those. Like somebody might be drilling out a hole for one of these. That'd be nice to have. And then drill that guy. Yeah, we'll see. A little addition on it. Who knows? But here we go. Nice and secure. So now they don't roll all over the place. Thank you, and thank you, Starbond. And here's the caddy for glue. Always got plenty of glue. My friends at Starbond always make sure I have glue. Thank you, Starbond, for taking care of me. And this little caddy, I know it's not much, but I just wanted to say thank you and, and acknowledge you guys for everything you do for me. So thank you. Also, I'll leave a link down in the description below. If you want to buy Starbond glue, just use the code born to make 15 for 15% off any of the Starbond products. So thanks again, Starbond.